and welcome to Evening Prayer for Friday the 14th of May. Today we remember Matthias the Apostle uh, and Matthias was chosen to replace Judas Iscariot who had committed suicide after betraying Jesus. Uh, Ma Matthias was there to complete the Twelve. And this was an act of faith by the disciples in that period between Ascension and Pentecost. Psalm 80 Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, before Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God, Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears. You give them abundance of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbours and our enemies laugh us the scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt you drove out the nations and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its walls so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off, and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. And so we will not go back from you. Give us life and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Bible passage for this evening is from 1 Samuel chapter 16. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul? I have rejected him from being king over Israel. Fill your horn with oil and set out. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided for myself a king among his sons. Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears of it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what you shall do. And you shall anoint for me the one whom I name to you. Samuel did what the Lord commanded and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to him trembling and said, Do you come peaceably? He said, Peaceably, I've come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sac sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. He sanctified Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they came... He looked on Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is, before, is now before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see as mortals see. They look on the outward appearance but the Lord looks on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. He said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah pass by and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel, and Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any of these. 
Samuel said to Jesse, are all your sons here? And he said, there remains yet the youngest, but he's keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, send and bring him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. He sent and brought him in. Now, he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. The Lord said, rise and anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. The Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call, shall call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. As we come before the Lord this evening, we pray that with the further relaxation of COVID restrictions coming on Monday, by the grace of God, that people won't be too reticent about taking advantage of them or too enthusiastic about taking advantage of them and overstepping the mark. We pray that the Lord will keep the infection rates very, very low. We pray that the vaccination programme will go on without further hitches. We pray that the Lord will guard and guide us in our health and strength. Especially we pray that the Lord will defend the health and strength of church leaders, lay and ordain. We bring before the Lord our relationship with the European Union as they seek to find the best ways of dealing with COVID, recognising that some of the areas of high recent infection are in the European Union. We bring before the Lord the ongoing crisis in India and pray that the authorities there will get fully on top of the, the infection there. We pray that the Lord will greatly bless the worldwide vaccination programme and that he will bless those people who are still researching as to how to produce the most effective vaccines that can be most widely used without unhappy side effects. We bring before the Lord the medical research that we are benefiting from so much in so many areas of our health. Research into cancer, heart disease, dementia, Parkinson's and other illnesses. And we pray that the Lord will bless that research and give those involved great inspiration for the blessing and benefit of humankind. We pray that the Lord will guide all our health service managers and professionals across all fields within the health service so that we might be able to maximize resources and reduce the great queues that are built up because of COVID. We bring before the Lord all those who are thinking of training to be doctors or nurses and we pray that the Lord will guide them 
along the best career path for them. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for our health and strength. Grant us grace to use the health and strength that you have given us wisely in your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Almighty God, who in the place of the traitor Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be of the number of the twelve, preserve your church from false apostles and by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers. Keep us steadfast in your truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the peace of the Lord rest upon you tonight. Remembering that the angels of the Lord encamp around those who fear him and that he gives his beloved sleep. But that he's also with us in the watches of the night. So that whether we are awake or asleep throughout the night, the Lord is there. He will love us, he will sustain us, and he will refresh us. May the, may the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.